Shalom everyone, Shalom people of God. I go by the name Ruben Mike, I'm also known as Ruby MC. If you're joining us for the very first time, please go below this video and click on the subscribe button. It's completely free. On this channel, we reveal deep mysteries, we expose false teachers, we bring you juicy Christian gist and Christian themes. And on today's episode, we are doing something very unusual. We are talking about one of the greatest footballers to ever walk the earth. And believe me, you don't want to miss the shocking exposition and eye-opening facts that will be revealed in this video. My subscribers know how we do it right here. Ensure that you have your earpiece plugged in. Ensure you have your phone on a landscape mode. Avoid any form of distraction. Buckle your seatbelt as we are about to hit high altitude right now. Let's go! Alright, on this episode, we are diving into the world of football. You know, during the just concluded World Cup in Qatar, the Argentine captain Lionel Messi was all over the news. And it was as if many knew that he was going to leave the trophy. Some suspicious events took place even in the previous Olympic uh, opening ceremony. And when the dream of Lionel Messi lifting the cup came true, these events that we are going to be talking about in this video caused a stir all over the media and in major religions around the world. Many believe that the World Cup was staged and that Lionel Messi is a secret member of the Church of Satan. Some are beginning to reveal that football is a game of Satan due to some strange events that are linked to the Bible. So briefly, we are going to be looking at a brief biography of Lionel Messi. We are also going to have a brief talk on Satanism. Then we are going to talk about sport and football symbols that are linked to the Bible. Then the goat and performance controversy. Then we are going to be answering the question of is Lionel Messi linked to Satanism? Then lastly, we are going to be concluding with should a Christian watch football? Messi started playing football when he was only four years old. And that was after his grandmother, Salia, talked his parents into letting him play. Messi's greatest encouragement in his childhood days was from his grandma, who believed that one day, Messi would be the world's greatest footballer. Not long after the death of his grandma, Messi was diagnosed with a hormone deficit, which was responsible for his stunted growth. And after a series of testing, he was prescribed injections that he was to take daily and this treatment cost $1,000 monthly and later on the prescription affected Messi negatively it affected his speed and stamina Messi was later signed to Barcelona at the age of 14 and the contract was signed on a napkin and Barcelona agreed to supply Messi with a certain drug that did not only restore his stamina and strength but it also helped him grow taller now some people actually believe that there was more to this medicine that Lionel Messi was given. Some say that Lionel Messi is an artificially built footballer and that his future was planned by some top world governing entities or personalities who are worshipping Satan in secret. So let's find out about that. There is a huge controversy going on today claiming that for centuries now, the world has been living by the laws of Moses. Laws like women should be subject to men, man must not sleep with animals, same gender, marriage is strong, thou shalt not kill, so on and so forth. Although it is a fact that many religions believe and practice the law of Moses, even those that are not Christian and Muslims, they have the seven book of Moses. So some believe that the new world order was made to change the world from the original laws given by God to Moses, to contrasting laws given by God's arch enemy, Satan. I know that sounds odd, but believe me, today Satan is worshipped in many parts of the world and Satanism is practiced in the open amidst an opposition that is growing weaker and weaker by the day. So there are three significant symbols common in all places where Satan is worshipped. These three symbols are a star, a crescent moon, and a he-goat. According to biblical history, the worship of Satan started long before Adam and the world was destroyed with ice because the creatures then worshipped Satan. Another record in the Bible reveals that when Moses went to Mount Sinai to get the commandment, Aaron was compelled by Israelites to make them a golden calf which many believe to be Baal and Satan because Satan and Baal are represented with a goat, a cow, a deer or a bull. This made many reach the conclusion that Baal is actually Satan. Now there's a link in the description of this video where a Satanist explains Satanism so you can click the link and watch the video in order to understand more of what I'm talking about. Now, it is true that today every sport game has a GOAT and GOAT is said to be an acronym that means greatest of all time. For boxing, Muhammad Ali is the GOAT. For golf, Tiger Woods is the GOAT. For basketball, Michael Jordan is the GOAT. For tennis, Roger Federer is the male GOAT and uh, 
Serena Williams is the female goat. Now, for football, who do you think is the goat? Did I hear you say Pele? <laughs> I don't think Pele ever got to the level of Lionel Messi. Although there is a goat for every season anyway. But have you ever wondered about the relationship between greatest of all time and a literal goat? And what has a sports celebrity got to do with an upside down star? Because in Satanism, an upside down star is the symbol used to represent the goat head, Satan. Now, an upside down star is a star that is falling downwards. That's falling star, right? So, an falling star rings a bell. <coughs> Lucifer. So, many believe that celebrities, also known as stars, are used to represent Satan in the hearts and eyes of people. Before you start doubting, what has greatest of all time got to do with the Baphomet, which is Baal and Satan's symbol? Now, during the Qatar World Cup celebration, Lionel Messi was found doing the exact two finger sign with the Baphomet, and he has an all seeing eye tattoo on his right arm. And there are several pictures of Lionel Messi with a goat or his head replaced with a literal goat. Now, part of the controversy here is that people begin to wonder this man has a lion in his name. Why not call him Lion or King of the Football Jungle or something? What is so fancy about a goat apart from the meat? For those of you who want to know more about the Baphomet and why uh, I said it's connected to Satanism, there is a link in the description that will explain all of that to you. Now, do you remember the opening ceremony of the last Olympic Games? How they sang the song about the Tower of Babel and about the nations of the world uniting together, you know, unite, together united. And we know what the Bible says about the Babel Tower in the book of Genesis where the first ever human antichrist emperor known as Nimrod united the world against God and that invited judgment from God rather than being united as they planned they were scattered and confused and Babylon means confusion Nimrod was later known as Baal in the Bible days and one of his symbols was a calf or bull you know he was a conquering hunter and a bull is a beast of body and beast means animal and a man is the highest animal also there was a bull in that ceremony that Olympic opening uh, ceremony called the Beast and it entered the arena and the arena is the stage where the major event of the stadium or world takes place. A woman was riding the Beast and many other women which in the Bible symbolize nations were bowing to the Beast. The woman on the Beast was riding the Beast and this matches the book of Revelation. So as if that was not enough the Qatar World Cup symbol matches an ancient mystical infinity symbol of a snake biting its own tail or two snakes facing each other. Not only that, this same symbol can be seen at the belt region of the Baphomet. Now the question is this, could all this be a coincidence? Although personally I've been wondering why 10 men, which is a symbol of totality, are aiming for a goal and their goal is to kick around a ball that looks like the world into a net. No, and when they get this ball into the net, they have a goal. They've met their goal, you know. And the net is a fish cage. And the Bible calls men fishes. <laughs> Why am I even saying all this? I wonder if it makes any sense to any of you. But please don't mind me, or oh, mystery will not kill me. Let's move on. Now we've gotten to the question section. So um, the first question is, is Lionel Messi linked to Satanism? So I'll leave that question for you to answer at the comment section, but this is what I can say. With all the strange tattoos on Lionel Messi and uh, the goat controversy going on around him right now, one cannot really call Lionel Messi a true Christian, even with the Jesus tattoo he has. Because these uh, Satanists, they also twist pictures that they claim to be Jesus and make him do two finger sign like the Baphomet and they call it the peace sign. But I don't see anything peace about a creature pointing a peace to sign towards heaven. Now, another striking thing is that Messi is worshipped. When I say worshipped, I mean literally worshipped by some of his fans who call him names like God, uh, God amongst men or the God of football. Some even go as far as adding AH to his name and calling him Messiah, you know, like Messiah. <laughs> and this is a name that is going to be ascribed to the Antichrist. But here is what Messi had to say about that. Now, 
que se me diga sí, sobre todo por lo que voy a decir, no, por mis hijos, la edad que tienen, que, que hoy escuchan y, y, y copian todo. Eh, por ahí mi hijo me dice, Leo Messi, Mateo, Leo Messi, vamos Leo Messi. Y como eso, un montón de cosas, por eso no está bueno que, que lleguen a, a escuchar eso también. Bueno, well, this is another question I'll be leaving to you to answer in the comment section. And the question is, should a Christian watch football or should a Christian be a fan of football? So after all that has been said, what do you think? Football has made many people enemies because they support rival clubs. You no, know, one is a Barcelona fan, one is a Chelsea fan. They begin to insult each other. They begin to take it so personal, <laughs> and it's really, really funny. You need to be, you need to, you need to visit a viewing center and see what's going on there. <laughs> now, football has made people go into betting and gambling. Although football was originally made to be a tool to use in uniting different tongues, nations, and tribes together, but I personally believe that the people should be united under God and not under Satan. Else, what happened in the days of the first hour of Babel will happen again just as the Bible predicted in these last days. Now lastly, I believe that the Bible told Christians to watch and pray. What are Christians supposed to watch? We have to watch at events, pointing us to the soon return of Christ, watch at our lives, make sure that it's telling with the life of Christ. And Christ is our true star, the Bethlehem star, the star of David, the son of righteousness. He is the true calf, the lamb with seven horns, the bright and morning star. The super celestial light. Earthly stars are darkness when compared to him. So if the world follows stars that men have placed before them, they will definitely lose their way. But if they follow Jesus like the wise men did, they can never lose their way. They would rather end up in the palace and not in the net. But what do you think guys? Please go to the comment section and give me your answers. I will be joining you guys in the comment section. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to other Christians out there who will benefit from this video. I must tell you that even in the movie and mo music industry, subliminal messages are being projected in preparation for the new world to come. And the Lord will have to come swiftly as He promised. Please and please help spread the word by sharing this video too till we see some other time. I am Ruben Micah. I love you and God bless you.